Friday, so it must be time for us to take our weekly peek into the world of showbiz in Showbiz Spotlight. I'm your biggest fan, I follow you until you love me. Papa, Papa Roxy. Firstly, we're going across the pond. Yes, this week Simon Cowell made an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. During the interview, his new fiancée, Mishkan Husseini, joined him uh, and the two met with a kiss. However... Instead of planting a knee trembler on her lips, take a look at that. He went in for a quick peck while his mind seemed to be elsewhere. <laughs> but would we accept a half-hearted peck from our men in public, Carol McGiffin? <laughs> no way! No way! No You're no not known way. for half-hearted pecks in public. No, no, I, I do like a full-on snog in front of all the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. You know, I, I don't know. It depends on the situation, I suppose, but... I, I mean, if, if Mark kissed me like that in front of, you know, that, that was on the Jay Leno show. It's a massive, massive show in America, millions and millions of people watching. I'd well, be, worldwide, we've I, seen worldwide, it over here. Exactly, I'd be so cross. I'd be like, what, who, who are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's over there? I'm here. <laughs> you know, and I pretend it was all a bit of a joke. He was pretending not to know her, but he did too, too good a job, if you ask me. Oh, but look, not everybody's like it. that, are they? I mean, my Peter would be horrified if he, if I expected him to give me a big full-on snog. He's very shy and a bit discreet, and you know, he just a little peck. I'd be lucky to get a little peck, quite right, frankly. But you know, he's just doesn't so do take that. What you can get. But I just basically will take what I can get. <laughs> I'm a bit of a responder, you know. And if somebody comes to me on a camera, you know, wanting to express their feelings. I'm not going to stop them, am I? You know, no. bring it I'm on. The, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the, I love snogging. I'm with Carol. I love snogging. <laughs> and it, I, I, I would expect a good, proper old grab yeah. me and snog me face off. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, you do, you know, if it was a shy guy, although I don't probably think I'd snog a shy guy, would I? Um, <laughs> you have to, so I'd probably understand if you didn't want to do the full-on tongues. I know. <laughs> Didn't. There's a time and a place, you know, and if you're on a chat show with millions and billions and trillions of people watching, no, you, 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 do you know, I had the most horrible image, I was going to say, you keep, you keep like a cat's bum thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean, I mean that in a, in a lovely way. But I mean, I don't think she should be cross, because, you know, if you're in a relationship, hopefully over the years you're going to have billions of kisses together, so one that didn't quite go right is, yeah. you know, not really a big deal. Okay, next up. Hmm. Take That's Mark Owens uh, made headlines this week after it came to light that before he married Emma, his long-term partner and mother of his two children, he'd had an affair and up to ten one-night stands with other women. However, uh, he's claimed that uh, he's not cheated on Emma since their wedding day, saying that I'm proud of that. For me, the ring is really important and I want to be true to my word. So, uh, would your view of infidelity change once the ring had actually been put on your finger? No. <laughs> no, don't think it makes no, a difference. No, no, it wouldn't. No, I, I, I don't know. Infidelity is infidelity to me. That's it. You know, and if you're with someone and they've, you know, you've kind of found out that they've cheated on you ten times before you got married, it's okay because it's before you got married. What's the difference? It's the same. And you know, I just, mm. I would, I would tend to think that. I'm not quite sure how much difference that ring is going to make to someone if well, it's it, that serial, you know what I mean? Well, he's I, not necessarily saying that he thinks it's okay that he's done it, but he's saying that, you know, no, since he's no, got no. married, he's, you know, but he the forgiveness, the, the ring yeah, and he's exactly. keeping on the Yeah, exactly, I know what he's saying, but I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, no, I couldn't, I couldn't live forgive. with it. No. Well, I'm, the, I'm with you, I, you know, I, big... Um, non-infidelity person myself the well since I, since I got married anyway but when I was when I was 17 18 up to, up to I got married at 25 I had boyfriends and I probably was quite unfaithful quite a lot but when I found when I when I met my ex-husband and even the engagement ring it made a huge difference to me I when I got that ring on my finger I used to say to my girlfriends when I get that ring on my finger that's it. I've done my living, I've done my wild child years, and I'm glad I did them. I was ready to change, and I was ready to settle down. And I did, and that's what, you know, that, that's what I did. So I think, it, in my mind, it made a huge difference to me. Mm. Now, if, if he'd said to me, you know, the four years we were together before we, we actually had the wedding day, I was unfaithful. Mm, 
um, I don't really think... It, it, because we knew we were going to get married. Yeah. If it was just a little passing relationship, maybe I'd have felt different. <laughs> but, but it did, for me, it made a huge difference. Once I'm committed, I'm committed. And that's it. And I felt committed with the ring. And it also depends on the stage of the relationship. Because I know, if, you know, thinking about it, if it was like w w with Steve and I, if it was the really early stages of our relationship where everything was all kind of up and down and oh, what we do, are we together, are we not? I could, I could probably forgive him if he said, you know what, back in that first year, uh, I, was, I was a bit naughty. But, but we were living together. No, we didn't. We didn't live together until... No, but if you had been. If, that's what I mean. But yeah. if it was since we moved in together and then we had Amy yeah. and then... A, it's yeah. having the children, no, I think, and that's big commitment game. that changes it, don't you? Yeah. you? Don't you think it makes a difference whether you confess up front or whether you get caught out? I mean, I think if, so, if I was getting married to somebody and they said to me, look, I have committed some adultery before this point, while I've known you, but I'm really, really sorry about it and I want you to forgive me and I want us getting married to be my fresh start. And, and I promise faithfully that I'll never be faithful again. Don't you think that's never different? Never be unfaithful, be unfaithful, unfaithful, unfaithful. again. Unfaithful. <laughs> 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 I'll get this straight in a minute. <laughs> but don't you think that would be different from after the wedding, you know, after you're married, finding out that they'd been yeah. unfaithful and them not telling you and them, you know, and, and you well, finding out from really. a third party? I think it's different. No, because it doesn't you make it... You have to give them a chance yeah, to be forgiven. but if somebody confesses, it doesn't make... It still doesn't make it OK. You know, no, it doesn't I, make I, it OK. I, I agree. If somebody, if somebody cheated on me, and, and and I never found out about it. Of course, it wouldn't bother me. Don't you believe in second chances ever, then, Carol? Under any I, circumstances? I have done. I've done the second chance thing a couple of times, and I I've, I wouldn't do it again. I just wouldn't do it again because, yeah. in my experience, the second chance that you give them. It doesn't make any difference, well, and I, it always oh. happens again. So no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not tarring all my relationships with yeah. the same brushes because I'm not. Mm -hmm. It's it's different, but no, not for me. Well, I think everybody deserves no, no. a second chance. Okay, them. finally, having gone to great lengths recently to lose weight, Sharon Osbourne's now looking forward to the day when she can gorge on food and no longer worry about what she looks like. <laughs> Despite having had a gastric band fitted nine years ago, she says, "When I stop working on TV, the floodgates will open, and I'll end up a fatty, but I'll be happy." I want to be a granny, and grannies are supposed to be fat. Oh. So, <laughs> do, do you agree with her? Are you looking oh, forward to when you can just that. let it all go? Yeah, let it all go. <laughs> I spent 39 years wondering, have I put any pounds on? I fluctuated between a 12 and 14. I'm a fat person trapped inside a, a not really that fat person, I think. And so for me, oh yeah, when, when, when Jake gives me grandkids, you know what? Get them cakes out. <laughs> well, I think that's, that's a say. nice attitude. I I do. I well, do. I don't know. You say that, but does it necessarily lead to happiness? I mean, modern grannies have to be really quite fit and active, don't they? Now you have to get down to the playgroup and in the playground and, you know, be running around. My mum is fantastically active as a, mm. as a granny. And I don't know, if you're, if you're that overweight, are you going to be able you to can, do you that? You can be do large you and fit and active. It doesn't you, think so? you don't have to be well, huge. What she's saying is, like, when yeah. you're on TV, there is a lot yeah. of pressure well, not I, to be fat. And I she so wants sympathize. to get rid of that pressure and just yeah. let it go. I mean, I've put a bit on, I have to say. I'm getting no, very worried. Haven't. Why does food tastes I have. Why does food taste so much nicer when you get older? It does. <laughs> it does, it does, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Come on, back me up. I used to be able to say no to cakes and stuff. I, oh, I can't walk past a plate of chips now. I just can't. <laughs> and I used to be able That's to. That's nature's way of telling you to eat it. <laughs> eat. Oh, I do. Eat. It's all going on the It wrong. doesn't taste nicer. You've oh, just lost gosh. all your self-control. That's all. Oh, oh stop <laughs> it. Shut no, up. No, seriously. I, I was looking forward to, you know, just... Getting old and wearing elasticated waists and you know, <laughs> sitting there and eating second outfits. No, I will, I'm with Sharon on this one yeah. completely because you know I don't put a lot of effort into not get being fat, but it's you know it's on my mind. I don't want to be fat. I don't you like never it. You will be though. Oh, I have been. Tall. I've been a bit fat. I've been fatter than I am. Much fatter. And I didn't like it, so I don't do it again. Well, I won't. Well, I might. I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a 28-year-old fiancé, so I just can't let myself go. So, I'm, you know, I'm, that's it. It's a sentence. <laughs> it's a life sentence. It is a life sentence. Okay. Okay. Uh, time for one final break.